Trifoli Girl and Kaya Fashionista Girl. And yes, panibagong video and panibagong learning na naman tayo mga yun, mga Katripolics. So, ayun nga, thank you po pala sa aking mga new subscribers and thank you din sa lahat ng mga nanonood ng aking DIY tutorials. So, for today's video guys, is gagawa tayo ng another DIY galing sa ating button down shirt and ito turn natin siya into a coordinate. So, yun yung mga mala Pinterest inspired na style ngayon and nowadays na nauuso na yung mga OOTD sa TikTok. So, kailangan nating makisabay, guys. So, napakadali lang talaga nito. And without further ado, let's get started! So, ito yung gagawin kong coordinates. And meron din akong exist fabric na nakuha ko before from my um, long sleeve. And I know na hindi ito masasayang kasi gagawin ko siyang inner para dito. So, first thing to do is ihihwalay ko lang itong skirt. I just turn it into the wrong side para ma-rip ko yung kanyang side seams at mahiwalay ko na yung skirt. And girl, just trust the process. Madali lang talaga tong gawin. And if ever diretsyo siyang long sleeve na semi-dress, you can cut it out into a two pieces. After I divide it into two, so I will make a dart sa front side and also sa back side. On this side, I just fold it into half para naman makuha natin yung dart niya sa center. Make sure you align the edge of this side to the side seams. So the length of the dart is only 5 and half inches dito sa front. Then yung lapad lang ng dart na babawas natin is only 1 cm. Then just mark this side then we will connect it all together to form our dart. In making a dart, just mark it into a triangular style from the lower to upper part. So just do the same from the other side. And also, in the back, I will fold it into a center fold to form my dart also. So I just divide it into two to make a two darts in the back. Though the process is the same from the first one, but what makes different it is that the dart on the back is longer than the front. So the length of the dart in the back is 13 inches. After that, tatahian ko na ito. fold 1 and half inches itong dulo nitong gagawin kong crop top. Then, ipipin ko lang tong bawat side nito para masecure ko yung bawat edge ng fabric. Then hem all this side. And since I will going to change all the smaller buttons into a big one, now I will going to extend the button holes of this um craft top. So I use a button holder machine. And I changed the presser foot into a button holder foot. Now, tatahian ko yung mga bawat button holes nito para ma-extend ko yung um, laki ng ating button hole. Now, I will remove all these buttons to replace it into a bigger one. Then, I will just put all these new buttons right here. Now, let's proceed to the skirt. So, yung gagawin ko is mag-center fold muna ako para naman 
pair yung cutting natin on each side. And since 26 inches yung waistline ko, I divide it into 4 and I put seam allowance so it will be 8 inches width. So to get the hip one, from the upper part down to 4 inches, then this will be our hip one. And my hip one will be a 9 inches width. So to get your hip to measure from the waistline down to 7 inches and that's how you get the hip to. Then the width of my hip to is 9.5 inches. Now use the hip curve ruler to form the shape of the skirt. Then I will cut the side. So I'll just skip this one. And I will going to fold this another one and cut this on the center. After that, I ko connect ko na yung bawat side nito para makabuo ulit ako ng skirt. Then hem all the side seams. The next one is gagawa ulit ako ng dart dito sa skirt. So if I fold ko lang siya into a one part, so one part hahatiin ko siya sa apat para apat yung magagawa kong dart. Yung dart ko sa back is 5 inches. And yung width ko nitong dart is 1 cm. So, same as usual. Triangular style pa rin yung imamark natin to create our dart. And sa front side naman is gagawa ulit ako ng dart. So, yung dart nito is nasa 4 inches lang ang kaniyang length. So all the process of making this dart is same as usual sa ginawa kong dart before. Just always remember that the dart on the front is smaller than the dart on the back side. Now I will going to hem all the side of my darts. After that, maglalagay ako ng zipper dito sa aking skirt. I use a zipper jacket para easy lang siya to unzip. Kasi yung zipper jacket, eh, convenient siyang gamitin for this kind of fitted skirts. And mas cold din siya tingnan. After that, I will fold the side seams on the waistline of this skirt. tatahian ko na tong side na to para mabuo ko na tong skirt. So, ito yung exist fabric ng long sleeve ko before. So, kinip ko lang siya kasi I know na magagamit pa talaga siya. And now, this is the time na gagawin ko siyang inner. So, yung basswid nito is 9 inches since stretchy itong fabric na to. Then, ikakat ko lang ito. Now, I fold it into the wrong side para um, tatahian ko yung side seams niya. Now, to make a sharing dito sa edge niya, gagamit ako nitong zigzag stitch. By the way, dalawang beses ko siyang pinaikot-ikot itong zigzag stitch niya. Gaya ng pagpapaikot-ikot sa'yo ng jowa mo, char. <laughs> Pero, para makuha ko talaga yung desired na style sa aking sherry. Now, yung pinagputulan ko kanina ng tela, gagamitin ko for my strap. So, 2 inches yung lapad ng strap na ikakat ko. Dalawang pieces yung gugupitin ko. Then, if fold ko lang ito, 
at tatihian ko yung side niya. Then, kung wala kang T-turner, pwede screwdriver yung gagamitin mo para sa pag-flip ng right side nitong ating strap. So, 14 inches lang yung length ng strap ang kakailanganin ko. So, magbabawas ako dito sa strap na to. Then, i-coconnect ko na all together yung kaniyang strap. Then, tatahian ko na tong mga strap na to. And, yung pagkabit ko sa kabilang strap sa back, ginawa ko ng pa-X style. Para mas maganda yung kaniyang result. And now, we're all done! And that's all for today, guys! I hope may mga natutunan kayo this day from me. And kung bago ka pa lang sa akin channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka every time na may mga bagong uploads tayo na video. Kasi every week po ako gumagawa ng mga DIY tutorials. And I hope aabangan niyo pa po ako sa aking next video. So, yan lang muna for today. And have a good day. God bless. And...